Today I'd like to take you through some of the most important steps in the green fluorescent protein transformation lab. First thing, of course, you want to label your tubes, plus and minus P glow, whether it's going to get the plasmid plus or not, minus. That'll set you up for your future experiments. You're also going to want to put calcium chloride solution in them, uh, which is not shown, but using the micropipetta as you've done before. The next thing you're going to want to do is put those tubes on ice to get ready for the next step so the solution will be cooled down. Next, you're going to want to pick a colony of bacteria. Each one of those white spots is what we call a colony of bacteria. It represents perhaps a billion bacteria that descended from some early cell that had landed on the plate about a day ago and then grew on the brown, light brown growth medium. You're going to want to pick one colony at a time and put those colonies, one colony in each of those test tubes the, that you prepared before. So you want to very gently scrape up a colony with a sterile loop, making sure not to have it touch anything other than the colony. And then you're going to want to carefully, without it touching anything else, you want to swish that around in the calcium chloride solution on ice to try to get all the colony as much as you can off the loop and into the solution there. And you're going to do that twice one colony where you're going to add DNA and one colony where you're not going to add DNA. At this point there are several other steps in between. But one important note you want to make is that uh, you want to make sure you carefully label your plates as laid out here. And one of the important notes is to label always on the back of the plate. The reason for that is that the back of the plate stays with the nutrient auger, so there's no way to confuse them. If you were to label the lid of the plate, it's possible that they could get mixed up. So you want to carefully label your plates uh, with your with the particular thing you're going to plate on them, as well as, as not shown here, your group name and, and the date. Here again, we've skipped a few steps just to show you the most crucial ones. And here you want to be very careful that you plate the right solution from the right tube onto the right plate. In each case that you're going to plate, you want to use 100 microliters for the micropipetter and put that on each plate, as we'll show here. So you sample out 100 microliters from the tube. And then you're going to spray it out on the top surface of the auger of the nutrient medium of the plate. It doesn't really matter exactly how you spread it out because you're going to spread it more completely in a second. After you've finished putting the liquid on all four plates, the next thing you're going to want to do is spread it. And here you use a sterile spreader and again making very sure to use this one at a time and, and not to reuse them and also to make sure they touch nothing but the plate. And so you spread it around as best you can to try to get as much of the liquid all over the surface as you can. And so it should take a few seconds and then you cover it and move on to the next one. 